special girl onto the show. She smokes, which is fabulous. Adele? We're sisters. <laughs> I'm telling you. Adele. Hi. Adele is the next new big thing that's going to come out of England and save the female music scene. Oh, well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to build you up, love, now. I don't want you to do it. I feel you've got to live up to anything. So, Adele, tell me about yourself, because I don't know much about you, because I like to find out from the person, not from reading, because sometimes it's not true what you read. What, like what? What do you want to know? Where are you from? Well, you're, you're from Brixton. We've already known that. Yeah, and um, you're born really in young. North, though. I was born in North. Were you? Yeah, Tottenham. But oh, we moved. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Moved to Brighton and then we've been in South London for about 10 years. And how long have you been doing your music? Uh, about. I don't know, it's about 11, really. Oh, yes. me too. Clarinet oh. first, though. Me too! Then I started smoking. I can't, can't play When no did more. you start smoking? I was 13. I was 14. 14. <laughs> yeah, see, look, we're like kindred spirits. Yeah. Clarinet! <laughs> did you do your grade 3? Yeah, I got to grade 5. So did I! Yeah. Oh. oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, You're just making it up. No, yeah. I'm not making it up. I had yeah. a boozy and hawks, is that right? Boozy and hawks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did my yeah. grade 5 too. Oh, and then yeah. it all went tit shaved yeah, and I got got shaved my head. Yeah. Got oh a God. flute the yeah. other day and started to fiddle about the flute. Oh. Yeah. Can you get that? Yeah, I can. Well, I did flute too. Show. Is that what's it called? The embouchure. <laughs> so you're playing flute? <laughs> I was playing flute and I wanted to play on a track which was a cover of a Nick Drake song that I did called River Man. Oh, and um, basically I just can't play the flute. No. That's what we discovered. <laughs> I'm shit at you it. You guys have got better lungs for that than you have to. Like clarinet. I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. I don't I think never... it was that. I just literally. She plays saxophone. I play saxophone going on. No. Oh. Yeah, you see. It's easy. That's no. what my dad played. Yeah. Oh. She could be in our family. <laughs> yeah. She started smoking when she was young. She <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so when you you started your music, and then then you you went to a Brit school. How yeah. did that come about? Um, I hated the school I was at. I was at a normal school. Good girl. Um, didn't like it, so went there. What um, age did you start? Fourteen for GCSEs. Oh wow. You start in your ten. You can't start any sooner. And then I went on to do the college. The college, the A levels and B tech was much better. You get distracted for the GCSEs. Boys. No, we're just waiting to do your strand. You only get to do it for like four hours on a Thursday. So like. Oh wow. You just kind of. Want to do that? So and how long have you been playing the guitar? Oh, not very long. Since I was about seventeen. Cool. It's about a year and a half. I can't really play it though. I just kind of. There's my luck. Play it like a bit. I don't play guitar either, but I've. I've been playing it years. I still can't play it. Who's that? Simon Patrick. My dad got me that. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Beautiful guitar. And it's yeah. like English. I think it's Canadian. Oh, wow. Simon Patrick. Yeah. Never yeah. heard of it. No, no, the fight. It looks beautiful. Yeah. You want a little play, don't you, darling? You've never played a Simon Patrick. <laughs> Pass it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We like to share and share alike. Oh, look, it's an it's a plug in one as well. Yeah. It? I don't really clasp it, I bash it around a lot. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Wholesome, mm. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely. You may not be able to play it, but you can tune it. That's, that's the Yeah, that's important. very important. <laughs> Mikey, oh, don't you, you, all right, you, all right. well. <laughs> you can't tune a guitar for shit. I can't so, have a tuner. You've um, you've just been working on a new album. My debut, yeah, my first album. Wow, it's really exciting. Yeah, it's really exciting. And and like the good old days, which I'm a big fan of, um, you did like half the records, like seven or eight tracks in eight days. Yeah. Love that. Cost effective. Just well. went in. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, not with well, 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 one of the things that I read, which I suppose must have come off a, 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 an early PR thing, or maybe maybe it's maybe it's. It, it, it was, it was like an observer about, piece. Oh, right, yeah. What I was what I, I was saying to you about you, you're, you're doing an album, you can need to write some more songs. At that time, you'd only written four songs. Yeah, I had four songs until like February, really, right. and then I just just all kind of came together. Again, everyone was telling me to write songs before. I just did it for fun. Anyone was telling me, so I guess just did some. I was being a bit stubborn without knowing. I didn't want to write any. Quite Why right. didn't you want to? Well, I just didn't have time. I was being a lady of leisure, going out to the parties. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> building blocks. Yeah, it's right. it's How can really you quick, write though? songs unless you've got the experience? Life like experience. Exactly. exactly. And, and then I got my heart broken, then the whole album's about one more. Oh, more there heart. you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what though? I mean, like Ching, you've got to be grateful yeah. for the boy that broke your heart. No, I am. Yeah. I hate him, but because good yeah. songs come out of it. Yeah. Do, have you slagged him off, good and proper? He doesn't know about songs? it. He doesn't know. Yeah. But, yeah, it's quite, one of them. I really always rude. say to people, don't piss me off, because I will write a fucking yeah. song about it. <laughs>
And I'm not very discreet, am I? Like, I'll say, this is about so-and-so, so-and-so. <laughs> <laughs> or put their name in the title. Yeah, good <laughs> yeah. yeah, one. He'll yeah. be sorry, he'll be sorry, just you wait. He'll be up there yeah. with your name in lights. Hope so. I'm sure he's sorry already. And he'll be telling everybody. He ain't, he ain't sorry. <laughs> he's a fucker, <laughs> wanker. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> We've got, got to be sisterhood around here, though. So, are you going to play something for us? Yeah. What are you going to play? I play Hometown first. Oh, no, we like that one. Yeah, but it's on guitar, though. But that's okay, because we were looking for a plug in or anything. Do, does no, she need no, to plug in? On, yeah, no, I do need to But we need to pull this microphone forward, forward, forward a bit for yeah. you. There you sure, go, yeah. little love. Yeah. And don't worry if you make a mistake. We love a mistake in here. Oh, I always mess up. Oh, well, always. good. And you can be in our club then. Yes, yeah, this is Hometown Glory. <clears throat> I've been walking in the same way as I did Missing out the cracks in the pavement And tightening my heel and strutting my feet Is there anything I can do for you, dear? Is there anyone I could call? No, and thank you, please, madame I ain't lost, just wondering from my hometown, May and Maurice are fresh. From my hometown, who the people I've made. How the world is in my world. How the world is in my world. How the wonders of this world are the wonders now. I like it in the city when the air is so thick and opaque. I love it to see everybody in short skirts, shorts and shades. I like it in the city when two worlds collide. You get the people and the government, everybody taking different sides. Shows that we ain't gonna stand shit Shows that we are united Shows that we ain't gonna take it Shows that we ain't gonna stand shit Shows that we are united From my hometown May and Maurice are free From my hometown Ooh, the people have made change Do of this world are the wonders of my world. Fans. Oh. 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 oh, you are amazing! You know, you were saying earlier on about how you... You liked Amos Lee, that's got a real yeah. kind of Amos yeah. Lee vibe. Oh, I love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Yeah. And the, the, the bit of Ella Scat. Too great, mm. fantastic! Oh, you know what a great song! What oh, incredible voice you got! So, so tiny. Oh, we so yeah. need you. We need you. Lincoln, Break Lincoln, out! Lincoln, who's oh, our man. sound guy, is a big uh, Regina Spector fan. I, I suspect he'll go. Do crazy you know Regina Spector? Yeah, yeah. Have, uh, don't know that much. I know a few songs though. Some of that stuff. She sounds quite a lot like Judy Garland. You sound a little bit Billie Holiday, I think. Yeah. But it's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Thanks. Really, really good. Oh, look, she's proper humble as well. So that 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 song, like evoking the the the, the mood in in a in a big city and the feeling of living in a big city, couldn't get all the words. What's 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 the? Well, it's mainly just about like kind of. I don't know really. Actually, I wrote it after a night out in Holborn with some friends. <laughs> everyone, everyone thinks it's about my area, and it ain't. My area is rubbish. Um, it's about yeah. We always go to this club. Um, I was about fourteen, and everyone else about sixteen or seventeen. 
it's just about like kind of thinking you're really grown up. And it's also I think it evokes that. It's got yeah. it evokes yeah. the sense of a of nightlife and a. Well, like, you know, when you're drunk and like you kind of, I always try and miss out the cracks in the pavement and see how far I can get, and always set like. If I can get to there without stepping on a crack, this will happen. Babe, I do that when I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my song, which is very similar in, in mood and in intention, is called Who Are You? And mm. what it was about is I, I had this big business meeting in London it, and this guy managed to get hold of quite a big chunk of my publishing and it was a horrible meeting. I spent like nearly nine hours in this yeah. meeting fighting and kind of lost quite, lost the business battle. I went to a nightclub and uh, two of the guys in the Sex Pistols were there and I'd never met them. This is so it was around the time of punk and then I went out and, and then what I remember is waking up in a doorway of a shop yeah. and this policeman standing over me going, Are you Pete Townsend? <laughs> and I went, oh, I'm all right here. I went, Yeah, I think I am. And he said, If you can get up and walk away, you could sleep in your own bed tonight. And from that one image, I've got this whole thing of... And another one, which I wrote for Quadrophenia called 515, was about walking up Regent Street and just seeing people and thinking how everything was about contrast, black, white, you know, yeah. short skirts, long skirts, you know. Yeah, um, mine was just like walking march, down a street. The march for the Iraq yeah, War. Yeah. Um, it was that and the night out in Holborn. Yeah, and yeah. I can hear that in it too. Well, it's it, the, I think the chorus is quite anthemic. And everyone was singing really kind of like. Mm. That's a great it's song. Fabulous great song. song. Thank great you. song. And and that's the one that on the, on my piano, Swiss got yeah. the piano. Mm. Yeah. Sounds like great on the guitar, guitar though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do it's you very write simple, very Tracy Chapman. Yeah, or piano. Yeah. I didn't write that one on piano or on guitar, but. Yeah. Oh, it's so exciting! And you're going to play at Glastonbury? Yeah. On the main stage, not the main stage. Yeah. Doing where? Jules. Jules Holland. Jules, oh, yeah. Jules Holland. Yeah. Oh, you'll love him. He's a he's a good fellow, isn't he? <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, great he's a good piano. Guy. Guy. He does play great piano. Yeah. Yeah, we just blew up being on Jules Holland yesterday. Oh, you're not doing it now. And Roger no, wasn't well. We couldn't do it. Roger was ill. Oh. Or so the word goes out, and I can't. What's wrong with him? And just suddenly it was cancelled. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. So when's that, when's that going to be shown? 8th of June. 8th of June? Yeah, it's got Bjork on it as well. Bjork, really? Bjork you did Bjork's one? No, I'm doing it on the 5th. Oh, right. And it goes out on the 8th of June. Oh, I'm going to totally watch it. Yeah, it's Bjork really exciting. It. And we wanted to do Hometown, but the, um, the guy... Because the guy who played on the original one, Lee, doesn't want to do music anymore, which is a bit ridiculous. I think he works at Sainsbury's now. Oh. Um, and we offered him to do it on the album, and he's like, I don't want to do it. We've got this, got this guy no one knew. It's interesting that, though, isn't it, when some people, because I can remember people from my past who I thought were really talented yeah. musicians, and they just sort of go, no, I'm not doing that anymore, and they really stick to it. They I'll play the piano yeah. on Hometown. I'll learn it off the... It's, like, it's like exercise. We'll try oh, it. I'm classical but trained, mate. Yeah. I can oh. do really fast. Well, I, don't, I don't know the, bit, the key or nothing. <laughs> it doesn't listen matter. To it. I listen to it, learn it. I do that a lot, don't I, darling? You do indeed, yeah. Alright, let's have a try later. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and I'm like practically from South London as well. East Dulwich. East Dulwich. Blackout. <laughs> Lived in a house that smelled of cat's piss. That's all I remember. <laughs> Not else. Um, so, so you're doing Jules Holland, you're playing at Glastonbury. We want to get you onto the Guardian tent. Yes. We're going to try and do that because you like the idea of people sitting down and doing yeah. And you're now Civilized. signed to a, a, a label. And with yeah. XL now, yeah. yeah. And XL, tell us about that. that who, who's their big band? Um, White Stripes, City Royal School, Prodigy. Cool, that's right, of course. We yeah. did a show with Jack White on here. Did you? Yeah, he was brilliant. He was great. No, I met him, yeah. he but with really the raconteurs, nice. wasn't it? Yeah. Lovely fella. He's nice. Sweet. Big, isn't he? He's got really He's really tall. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know, well, recently he's. Really? Pies. Yeah. Is it pies? No, weights. Just oh, he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that would do weights, but, but well, Bruce doing Springsteen it. did that, didn't he? Sort of in the middle of his career, suddenly, you know, came on to and suddenly had big, big, big muscles and he's had them ever since. So I think you can get quite addicted to doing weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can. He is not me. Now. It's the addicted to the <laughs> book. <laughs> not me neither. <laughs> well, I was on an aeroplane <laughs> once, way, way, many, 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 many years ago with Arnold Schwarzenegger. In, oh, yeah? In the old days, at the top of the Boeing jet, 747 was a bit like this it was a little kind of pod and you had a bar up there you didn't have seats you had a bar up there and he was up there and um was talking to him and just said that i'd seen this film that he'd made called pumping iron he could barely yeah, the speak first one. yeah yeah and i said you know it was a very good film i'm glad you like my film <laughs> most, most good film yeah. thank you and i said so you know 
you know, you talk in the film about, you know, really getting addicted to pumping iron. He said, yes, it feel like you have orgasm all over your body. <laughs> That's quite scary, the big, big guy like oh, that. Yeah, and, and at one point, after the conversation, the guy that was sitting with me got up. <laughs> and uh, well. yeah. it was really, really funny. He's, good, he's got a great sense of humour. He's, uh, he says, Mr. Schwarzenegger, it's very good to meet you. Mr. Townsend, very good to meet you. He shook my hand and he shook Mr. Schwarzenegger's hand and went downstairs. And uh, Arnie, downstairs went, on a plane. Arnie went, yeah. Arnie went like this. And Arnie went, oh, strong hand. <laughs> 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 and now he's the, the governor of California. That's right. That's and stupid. what is funny is he's on is the big push against um, immigration. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This big major thing is against immigration. But technically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it a bit mm, hypocrisy? Mm. How can so you be against immigration in America? Um, uh, America is, is yeah. the personification Definitely. of immigration. Isn't Definitely. It? I mean, and that's what makes the country. We've got so many of our good Irish boys over there. <laughs> Don't know that they're ours. Well, you know. Some of mine, maybe. Um, so, well, I just think while you're here, you should just play another song. Okay. Because I really do think we should get another one out of you. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Bleed we'll have a little bit more room on Jules Holland. Okay? <laughs> we'll have a little bit more room on Jules. Space. You what, what do you think of the attic, attic bus? I like it. It's a good one, isn't it? It's like a little spaceship. Yeah. Mental We're actually silence. cruising at 23,000. <laughs> <laughs> we actually felt on the road last year, in the end, that we were like inside a giant tampon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, someone's coming in. Plug it in. Ah, uh, right. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Maybe hometown didn't get heard. We'd be a cappella, wouldn't it? No, 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 no. We would have heard it all these mics all. Oh, okay. Is that right? Mm. Yeah, that would be They'll fun. make it right. Cool. Do you want to do it now or? Yeah. Yes! This is my name. It's fun, not my best friend. Ay, 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 You say I'm stubborn and I never give in. I think you're stubborn, sipped your heart with softening You say I'm selfish, I agree with you on that I think you're giving up and way too much in fact I said we've only known each other on here You said I've known you longer, my dear You like to be so close, I like to be alone I like to sit on chairs and you prefer the floor Walking with each other, then we'll never match at all But we do, ooh, but we do, 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 do but we do, ooh, but we do, 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 you think we would and we do, ooh, but we do, 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 but we do, ooh, but we do, 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 In fact, I said we've only known each other on here. You said I've known you longer, my dear. You like to be so close, I like to be alone. I like to sit on chairs and you prefer the floor. Walking with each other, then we'll never match it up. But we do. <laughs> <laughs> Such 
a beautiful voice. Yes. Yes. I was your best friend. Oh, oh God, I bet your best friend is... Did she cry when you played it to her? I don't know, I don't remember her, really. <laughs> she's very happy with it. Good friend. Oh. <laughs> so who's got a bad about your best friend? Yeah, Laura. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Can't and, wait and when, to hear when the one about she's glasses. When she said she's <laughs> lo known you longer than a year, it's like, like known you from another Past life. Past life. Yeah, it was just playing yeah. up with that thing of it. It's weird, isn't it, sometimes when you meet people and you think that you've, you've known them before. Yeah. Yeah. It happens more and more and more and more as you kind of, you know, in my age, kind of look back and start to see the people that I've met that I felt that I'd known for a long time. And then now, with a bit of perspective, you kind of realise that sometimes it's right and sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it's about infatuation and sometimes it's about choice and wanting to be with somebody. Other, other times it's just completely like kind of happening upon somebody. You just think, Christ, you know, I feel like I've known them forever and you may only have known them for a couple of years. Mm. Very weird. Nice we could be sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your older sister. You oh, no, you don't, be, you don't want to be the little sister of Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. I'll teach you really good. When you have like a drug crash, you can come and talk to me about it. I'll sort you out. Make your nice cup of tea, run your bath, it'll be yeah. all right. Thanks. Fill the room full of candle smoke. Yeah, oh, you love a candle. Oh. If you can, so it doesn't matter. Does it? I don't know. I think so. Apparently, it's really bad for you, like burning candles that aren't made out of beeswax. Like, mm. it puts carcinogens you know, in. You know, and what? the ones that are made out of be beeswax cost. I yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But well, you know, we smoke fags. Yeah, well, we, so we, we had a candle smoke. in the bedroom, and it was churning out. Some it seemed to be. Uh, no, I'm giving it, a, giving it a rest for a couple of minutes. Um, <laughs> There was uh, loads of smoke coming out the candle, and I blew it out before we went to bed. But when we both woke up in the morning, we had the blackest bogeys yeah. in the world. Yeah, and it's obviously that we've been filtering out the soot out of the room. Not a nice story. How did you know? Did you pick your bogeys out? Oh. Come on! Come on! It's a morning lunchtime dinner. <laughs> <laughs> in the car, the best place to pick your nose. No. No. Um, okay. Well, look. I think you're completely and utterly fabulous. Me too. Yeah. Oh, me too. Thanks. You really great, great, are great. very, very brilliant. I thanks. think the um, the 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 attic crowd are going to love what you do. They're going to love you. Yeah. I hope so. Come find us at Glastonbury. I will. I will. And when, when you when you when you can, you must try and see Amos Lee. You'd love it. I've seen him. Uh, I saw him Soho Review Bar a few yeah. months ago. And did you meet him then? No. He's yeah. very nice. He's very southern. He'll call you mum. He's gorgeous as well. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what's interesting oh, about him. He was he was <laughs> he was doing a um, he'd just written a song, didn't he? Which I played. Keep with it him. loose. Yeah. Keep it tight. We no, no, that's him. on his album. No, that other one that he wrote. Oh, yeah. And um, he's constantly writing and constantly very, very creative. But it's very, and his music's, his songs are all quite different. In yeah. A way. You know, he's very eclectic. He's yeah. all over the place. He doesn't seem to have a focus. And I'm, but, but when you see him perform, it all fits. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally one of the things about to seeing to people. You're totally getting to come to a guest on your album. Oh, it's nearly done now, really. You're all done, are you? Nearly. Fantastic. Mixing the speed. And how have you recorded it? Well, half of it I've done Jim Abyss, which has been really good. It's really, it's really amazing, actually. You recorded it under Pro Tools? I think so. Oh, I don't know the technical stuff. All right. I've <laughs> <laughs> got no idea. So you're recording with a producer? <laughs> yeah, with Jim, and then um, all my songs I wrote, and then the other half I've co-written. Um, a few of Egg. Got I still got to write the one with Jamie actually, Jamie T, and um, Rompton's going to put some beats on a tune of mine. Um, so yes, it's kind of half me and then half Co. Oh, cool. Yeah. We so need you, though. We need you with the music scene. Well, there's loads of girls coming up. I think everyone needs all the girls. Seems like you the other so girls. easy I think what you stride, said, though. I think what you said, the too, and it, it must have been in The <laughs> Guardian. It must have been in The Guardian. I think what you said there, too, about that thing about, about you know, before it was okay to be a girl singer on your own, yeah. Th it was that the the, the thing was you, you had to be girls. like like uh, what's her name the girl from Noisettes? Cindy. Cindy, you had to be like her. You had to be in a band with a bunch of boys, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, th in that indie kind of uh, boy band kind of thing. Yeah, you no, know, what's great though is when you're the singer and you write, you can boss the boys about. Yeah, singer does that. Boss the boys about. Yeah. No, well, actually, be good to the boys. I've got, so I've got two <laughs> things on the album with with the live band, and two of them. Um, I've known since I was like 16, and then we had Sev Rochford as well, who plays drums for Polar Bear and Acoustic Lady, and he's amazing. And we were at um, Conk Studios, and my vocal booth was up high, 
and I was like God, and they were treating me like God, and I was bossing them around. That Cold the Studios, that's Ray them. Davis' studio. Yeah. He's got an old Neve desk, hasn't he? Yeah, great, yeah. Great. I think it was the one that Off the Wall was done on the desk. Great sound. But the original reel for the for the footage for Waterloo Sunsets was sit like by this massive oven all sorted. All the masters are in the damp basement. Crazy, isn't it? It's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's well, nice there, though. Bob Pridden, our sound man, went to see Ray Davis recently at the Albert Hall. He was doing a kind of a one-man show with musicians as well, and he said it was absolutely fantastic. Because yeah. he's a great, great, great genius. And yeah. Should be the poet laureate. You got your award from Ray Davis, didn't you? What my You're living legend. That's it, was, it yeah, the living yeah, legend. Very, and then I had to give the kinks <laughs> award. It's true. <laughs> they make you work for it, don't they? <laughs> oh, did I give? I, no, I gave the Pink Floyd. Was this at the Rock and Roll uh, Hall was of Fame? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, it was the UK Hall of Fame. Oh, oh right, yeah. okay. I remember that. I watched all them. We had fun. We were the only people in the whole place that seemed to be having. <laughs> was that at the final <laughs> one? When it, where was it? Was that, was that at Hack the Empire? No, it was at Ali Pali. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Eurythmics. It was good fun. Yeah, it was good fun. I sneaked in my video. Dermot hosted it, didn't he? Dermot O'Leary? Yeah. Was it him? I think it was the one with the crop. And June yeah. Sarpong. And June Sarpong. Yeah. June Sar oh, yeah, I like She's her. funny, she yeah. is. Oh, she's cool. got so many, yeah, yeah. she's got like 3,000 pairs of shoes. She's married to like, it's not. That's disgusting. <laughs> 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 That's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How obscene. <laughs> Was well, Bob got... Marley's wife there as well? Did Sorry? She, did, didn't Bob Marley's wife go and pick up his award? That's right. Yeah. yeah. She's so nice. I've never met yeah. her, but she looked lovely. Yeah. She seems really nice. Have you been to any of those award ceremonies yet? No, I went to the, I went, actually, I went to the Brit Awards, actually. Not the last one, I'm four, with the Brit School. And I slipped the disc in my back from that. Because I just yeah. had to stand on this... I keep swearing, sorry. Yeah, standing on feel this... Feel free. Standing <laughs> on a slope for hours. Not anymore. So long. Now you've been on this show, you come find us, you come sit at our table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, right. You what, come because you're knees, like, kind well, of... Well, yeah, and, 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 and then I had the flus, I kept sneezing, and then I... And then that's when I wrote, like, Daydreamer, and, like, the cool. guitar, like, I, I couldn't move, really. One time my mum had to lift me out of a chair. It was horrible. So I don't really have... That's the only award to me. I don't have very fond memory of that. But Prince was there. Prince. Right at the front of was the Purple Rain. Did he? Wow. Cool. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, another yeah. another genius. Yeah. Real genius. He's a real genius, I'm isn't he? So I know. He's a woman, isn't he? I think he is actually a woman. Are you going to any of the shows he's doing? He's doing no. like 20 gigs, no, isn't we're, he? we're on the road, we're on yeah. The road. I'd, yeah. I don't know. I would anyway. I had an opportunity to go and see him okay. right when he started, oh, years and years ages. and years ago. There's this guy called Ted Cohen who was with, uh, with us, who's his Warner Brothers, so it must have been 81, 82, and he said, There's this new kid called Prince, and blah, 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 blah. And I was on my way to the club, and as we were going there, and t t this guy Ted said to me, Oh, you're going to love him, you're going to love him. The only thing is, is he wears suspenders. And I said, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going. I don't have a thing about about you know. I'm not homophobic. I don't have a thing about you know the Rocky Horror thing or anything. I just wasn't. Everything else that he told me was that this guy was, and I just thought I'm not going to be able to get this. I'm not going to be able to get this guy that wears suspenders. And then I didn't go. And then because I didn't go, and then I started to hear his music, and I thought, oh, Jesus, you know what have I missed out? So I'm kind of stuck in that place. I'm afraid that if I go and see him, it's going to be anticlimactic. But quite a few people like that. I haven't been to see the Stones for years and years and years because I just thought I saw them when they were so great, and I, you know, like not wanting to break the myth. Yeah. But also, I'm a bit lazy about gigs. I don't get out also, enough you music. Shouldn't wear one of the reasons why I really love this thing that Ra it. Rachel does, the Attic Jams, and if she does one, you must come on. That thing I was saying about, because you get to see musicians working really close up. Yeah, we yeah. did the one with Amos. Do you know Alexi Murdoch as well? No, but I heard you talking about him earlier. He's really great. Yeah. It's one of the shows with the Jack Black. Did you see him playing? He asked for that. I love Joe him. Purdy as well. Yeah, he's great. He was great. I've Are been listening just... to a lot of his stuff since that, since then. Well, he, he makes an album, album every, every week, week, doesn't he? He does do oh, well, that. <laughs> great, though. Yeah, really not quite every week, but he makes a lot of albums. Yeah. And I wonder whether at the moment that that's something that, you know, is again something about the change of the way that we could operate. It might be that you could release more music. You know, in my life I've written about 1,500 songs, but only, like, put out about 400, you know. So, in a sense, you know, you, you, I could have <laughs> written... <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that, have, but I could <laughs> have released, you know, a lot older than you and started before you did as well, so it's kind of like... Don't give it away! <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's just that thing of, you know, being th the, the fact that with the internet you could 
publish so much more. Yeah. You could yeah. release so much yeah. more. And I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing because sometimes if if something went out, you know, in the old days a record company would say, well, once it's out, it's out. You can't release it again. But now you can put something out, build up a following for it, re-record it, and mm. put it out again. Or if not re-recorded, just put Oasis it out again. Done that. The truth is as well that there's a yeah. load of old tat out there, so it's just great when suddenly there's like a diamond. Yeah. You are a diamond. You are a diamond. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. Thank Great you. Songs. So, um, we should let you go. You're going to take me for a burger later. Excellent. <laughs> and we're going to mix the album. Have you? Yeah. Oh, nice. But you're going to do that straight away tonight? Well, yeah, because, like, I put too much reverb on otherwise. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to sound like you're in the fucking Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need